The Joel Fernandez Show is a talk show channeled spontaneously from source to edify and help raise the vibrations of truthers, starseeds, Christic alchemists, and others who have seen through this illusionary matrix into messianic consciousness by discussing hidden knowledge, higher dimensions, and manifesting so that we can shine our light for everyone to see and co-create the earth that we know we actually deserve to live in. Don't! I gotta go! I'm working on the show! My name is John. I'm 18 years old and I live with my grandmother. This is my, this is my video diary. 356. Grandma, please don't come in. Okay, my video diary. Yes, well. We're in the... No, you can't come in, Grandma. Grandma, don't come in. Grandma, don't come in. Grandma, what are you doing? Don't come in. Grandma, get out, Grandma. What are you doing here? Get, get out, get out. Anyway, we're back. My video diary is kind of messed up. My grandmother, my grandmother is kind of pissed off. So anyway, okay, until next time, my name is John. I live with my grandmother and I'm 18 years old. I'd get a better shot. Yeah, Watch. Hello, my name is Joel, and my brother's really annoying me. So, how are you? That is good. This diary is... Our vacation is good. It's getting along pretty good in. Hold on a second. My brother's really annoying me. Pissing me off. Anyway, so, how are you? This is my video diary. Our vacation, we're in, um... Where are we now? We're in, um... We're, we're in um, Helena, and we're on our way back. We're staying in the Howard Johnson, the same room we stayed in the first time. So, uh, hold on a second. Why are you recording without the... I think you can capture a film of me. Ha! Push-up, it's funny. I'm not doing no push-up. Yeah, you I don't are. Like Jason's around. You're so weird. You guys don't. Oh. Okay, well, I guess my family's kind of not too happy with this. Happy? Oh. Uh, just proves my point. Anyway, I'll see if this will work. Anyway, yeah, um, forget today, really. My video diary is not very good. Um, Jason, please be quiet. Anyway, yeah, well, I'll see what I can do tomorrow. And Jason, please, thank you. I will see what. I, shh, I'm busy. And well, this will um, take place tomorrow. Oh, what's wrong? Anyway, yes, my video diary is over. My name is John. Thank you for watching. No, your name is Joel. Shh. Shh. Thank you for watching. And uh, I'll be back next time something important happens. Anyway, yes, thanks for watching. Bye. Here's the man who made all of it possible. And hold on a second. Who made this whole show possible is me. Hold on a second. Um, Anyway, yes, I'll talk to you later. And thank you for watching my video diary. Talk to you later. Bye. The knock stage, it's not you. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Joel Fernandez Show. I'm your host, Joel Fernandez. And today I just wanted to talk about a few things. Like, honestly, this whole week has been absolutely crazy. And
And actually, you know what, guys? To be perfectly honest, there's been a couple of delays. This next episode might be a little while coming, but it is coming. There's just been a whole lot going on, like this whole week. And honestly, like the last few, well, about the last month or so, things have really accelerated. And it's not that I don't have content to make videos. I, I just have so much more content now. But like right now, I'm just so busy. Like I can't edit these videos the way I used to. At least not right now, the way things are set up and I'm still moving things around the house and, you know, inside my own body, inside my own mind, I'm growing spiritually and all these things are like stacked on top of each other, you know, as above, so below. So it all manifests all at once. And as you actually change things inside, you're going to start to notice that things change around you just in the environment, just in situations, things that you thought you couldn't control, like the government or media or other institutions, like all of these things will start to change where you thought you had no influence, but the influence starts in here in your own heart. And once you tap into that, meaning once you tap into the force that gives rise to the life that emanates from your own heart, you know, I'm not talking ego here. I'm not talking the me, my, myself paradigm. That is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tapping in with absolute divinity, absolute life force, absolute light energy. And that is a personality. Believe it or not, it's not some blob out there of prana energy that just permeates the universe. Yes, the universe is permeated with this force that gives rise to life that gives rise to consciousness. And we as conscious beings, that is actually a fraction of a fractal of a facet of source energy. And that's in all of us. And that energy is awareness. And that awareness has the power to look at situations, to look at circumstances and see a different outcome, to see the potential, to actually tap in with the potential that exists in the causal realm, in the time space, outside the time space continuum, in the quantum source field. The data in the quantum source field is literally the living logos, that living word, that data that gives rise to creation, to realities. You see, this source doesn't just predict destiny. It doesn't just tell you what trajectory you're on and what's possible. It actually creates destiny. And that's heavy. When you tap into that and get a hold of that understanding of how things work, like there's nothing that can hold you back. There's nothing that can hold you back because you're tapped in with the very force that can create things outside of the ordinary outside of the trajectories that we thought we were on. Like when you look at predictive astrology or when you're using, you know, crystals or herbs and all that stuff, you know, that's good as a tonic, but it's not the actual creative force that gives rise to the reality that we experience. That reality that we experience can actually be influenced by us and we can manipulate things outside of that reality. We can literally create things that, you know, the astrological trends, uh, whatever seems to be happening, we can literally create bubbles of reality outside of that and actually experience something completely different. And as we get stronger in influencing these bubbles of reality and actually create them to have more influence, we'll actually step beyond that influence and we'll start to see that those bubbles expand into other people's lives and they'll start to see the light we're shining. You know, that doesn't mean they'll be ignited right away. That doesn't mean that they'll suddenly be light bearers and, you know, just shift realities and poof, everybody's going to be on cloud nine instantly, but they're going to be seeing the difference between you and whatever else was going on. They're going to start to see that. And it's in starting to see that, that we can actually start to have this influence 
in creating other ripples and in creating just how things unfold. You know, it is a struggle though. And first and foremost, we have to tame our own egos. We have to bring it in line with source. And the thing is, it's not our egos that are taming our egos. That's what we got to realize. It's actually source within us whom we allow to come forth and literally change our lives from the inside out. That force that will actually change things is the divine cause that will actually do things that we couldn't even imagine as egos. But that's the first step. And once we tap into that, then source will actually start to change things outside of us and bring new potentials out into the open. And literally that force of light is the biggest threat to the realm of darkness. You know, you walk into a dark room, you flick on a switch. It's not like the darkness went anywhere. You know, it didn't go into the corners and hide there. It doesn't exist in light. The great thing about light and dark is that light always overcomes the darkness. <laughs> you see, kids, the darkness flag just from this little candle. Huh? The light will always overcome the darkness. Oh. Though the darkness is commanded by the word of Major Dread, yet the light of a candle in darkness fled. Though the dark cannot exist with the candle's little light, so enemy is powerless, no matter truth's might. Not even enemies, globlobber, anti-light remote transmitter can stop the light from overcoming the darkness. The Super Kid Manual says in 1 John 2 8, The darkness is passing and the true light is already shining. <laughs> And that's the nature of the battle we're in. So the darkness will kind of come against you, you know, maybe from your friends, maybe from your family. These are the ways it tries to work against us, but there's no match to the power that source actually is. It's no match to this. And I'll be perfectly honest, like this last month or so, there's, uh, a whole bunch of stuff that is just unfolded like out of the blue, like things I wasn't expecting and literally attacks. And I'm not just talking physical attacks. Yes, they did encompass that. And I'll be going over it. You know, when I do make a video finally of what my near death experience was, because that actually was an exposure of a whole bunch of things that I just been sitting on that, you know, weren't serving me. You know, I wasn't even looking at it, but it was sitting there in my house and it was actually an open door for these attacks to come in and when i realized that i was like you know what i don't want any of that world i don't want any of that world i want just source i want light i want life because that life is actually going to help develop me that life is actually going to bring me to who i'm here to be because death is not a part of living I don't care what people say. Death is not a part of living. It is an attack that is meant to stop you from living, to stop you from achieving your destiny, to stop you from being who you're here to be. That is all it's there to do. And there are people that go to their graves without even realizing a fraction of their talents, of why they're here. Ah, and it just makes me so mad because we're here to make a difference not just for others. I know it sounds cheesy, but we're here to make a difference for our own selves to grow in source, to grow in that character development. And that is what we can take with us outside of this life. None of the material stuff matters. None of that, you know, is transferable to the other realms, but character development, this soul, this spirit never dies. And it constantly is growing. It's constantly fulfilling destiny even outside of this life there is a destiny and we are going to be creating that destiny from the causal realm then but we have to start accessing that causal realm here so that we can actually move on and actually step up and into being that who we're here to be being that being that actually acts out what we're here to do and starting in this realm that's the practice mode but once we get to the other realm, you know, there are no enemies in heaven. There is none of these etheric attacks and all whatever. I'm not going to say right now, but none of that stuff. 
exists in the other dimensions. And you can literally think things and it will materialize, materialize right then and there, because even time is part of this time space reality. It's not part of the higher realms. Time was created as a way to gauge where we're going and actually think like, do we want this trajectory? Are these thoughts serving us? If I keep on with these thoughts, is it going to end up growing something that I want? Or is it going to just end up filling my garden of my mind with weeds? You know, think about it. How much of our own thoughts, if you really stopped and thought about it, are just worry, are just doubt and unbelief, are just things we're focused on that aren't serving us. You know, we have conversations with other people in our minds before we even meet them, before we even talk to them. And those conversations are constantly arguing or fighting or, you know, just we're just playing these scenarios in our minds. Imagine if all of that manifested instantly, like that would be a nightmare and, and getting out of that would be a nightmare in this time space reality. But thankfully, that doesn't happen. And as things escalate, we can actually look and say, look, our thoughts are creating this reality. Is this serving me? Is it actually serving me? Is it something that I want to go down? Because that is ultimately what we're going to experience. We're going to subject ourselves to these realities. And then what? Then we're going to have to live them out, right? That's what it's all about. And our own experience is meant to be one where we're actually living as, you know, our fullest functioning potential. It's who we're here to be. If we're not living our best life yet, we're cutting ourselves short. And that is not worth it. That is not worth it. It's simply not worth it. So, you know, it is a bit of a learning curve. There are things that we have to shed that we've been programmed with since birth, since before birth, because we're inheriting a lot of things, you know, from our parents and a lot of generational things that pass down, but we break them. And yeah, even as I was doing this house cleaning, like not just house cleaning, but like inner house cleaning, primarily, that's what led to all these other things unfolding. As I started doing this inner work, I realized that there were things, you know, from generations back that other people in my ancestry had done. And thank God I came across some sources and some material that actually helped me to break out of that because I didn't know what I was doing. This whole thing started by me trying to get rid of those bad influences, trying to get rid of those grips on what I was, you know, being held back by. But I didn't know how to get rid of it completely. So what ended up happening was like this whole issue where they just couldn't let go and they said, uh-uh, no more of this. And they stepped in and they kind of held that ground for whatever moment. But guys, they're powerless against the blood of the living Christ. They're powerless against the living logos that not only came and redeemed our entire species through entering a genetic contract with our bloodline. It's not just that physical, historical facet of the fractal that is the logos. This logos existed from time before time. And literally, like I said, it's the data in the Akashic record that manifests all realities, not just in this dimension, but in those ages that were before us, those ages that are to come in other time space realities, in other realities where there is no time or there is no, where these things are different than we experience them in this third density, fifth density, whatever density you're moving through, all of that, it's, you know, it encompasses all things. And this force is literally at the apex of the universe. The Greek scriptures say seated in the heavenly places at the right hand of the father, which is, you know, the central point of source. Central point meaning it's balanced, you know, it's not leaning left or right, male or female, yin and yang all of this stuff, it's not polarized that way. But the right hand means the action. And it goes on to say that, you know, as this Christ is the head, 
that energy has actually made those of us that receive this force within our beings to steer us and direct our lives. We are the body of that energy in this physical world. The body is the action and we are doing that action in this physical world as we live out our best lives yet as the Logos literally reveals it to us from inside out. We create these bubbles and we are the action. And then it goes on to say that all these spiritual etheric energies that are ruling this world as thought forms, as principalities, all these things are under our feet. And last I checked, feet are part of the body. And that is us. You know, it's not God that's going to do anything for us. God's given us the authority to take a stand and literally possess what's ours as inheritances you know it's one thing to inherit something but it's another thing to possess it and that's what the book of joshua talks about when they go into the promised land you know that was their inheritance abraham was there 400 years well actually like 500 years before that and god had said this is your inheritance for you and your children but there were other people living there so when Joshua finally led the Israelites back from their captivity in Egypt and wandering the wilderness, they had to possess the land. And that involved fighting. That involved, you know, of course, trusting source to lead them and guide them and give them the power and win the battles for them. But they had to go through the physical play out of these things and fight the battles, defeat the enemy and take the spoil that was rightfully theirs. And that's an analogy to what we have to do in our own lives. We have to drive out the demons. We have to drive out the Canaanites. We have to literally take this kingdom by force. And that force will show our determination in possessing this land because that determination is our character. And if our character is strong, then we'll be of the character wherewith we can actually live out what we need to. If our character is weak and it's just lands in our laps, you know, we're not going to be able to carry on and literally create that world that is our dream world, that is our dream life. It just won't happen. It doesn't just fall in our laps. It's our own character that propels us through these circumstances, situations, and Source will give us the energy, that agape. Agape is unconditionality. It's not just love. It's not just, oh yeah, I care for you even though you did something wrong. No, it's perseverance. You know, it never quits. It never fails. And that unconditionality is that force that is agape. And that agape is shed abroad in our hearts, those of us that have accepted the living logos as master and as guide and as the captain of the ship, we put that energy at the helm and from there we can move forward like never before, like never before. This world is blossoming right before our eyes and there's nothing that we can do to stop it. Literally nothing we can do to stop it. So I really liked sharing this episode. This is another short one because I got to get back to work guys. But honestly, tap in with Source, do whatever Source is guiding you to do. Don't let your egos get in the way and you will literally see things that your ego could never fathom and never line up and it will all just boom, 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 like dominoes start falling day after day, several of them a day and you'll just wonder like, where did this come from? How did this line up? How did this even show up on my radar? But you'll know that Source was behind it and Source has your back in ways that you couldn't even imagine. Oh, but you know what guys? I don't want to leave you with such a short show. So what I'm going to do is give you a light language to activate your divine call, your divine vision, your divine destiny, because we all have this destiny within us. And you know what? Sometimes it takes a little bit of energetic work to get it loose where, you know, we couldn't see it where it was, but that's why we have to help each other. That's why we got to shine our light. So I'm going to throw in this divine light language. It's something Source really wants me to share actually to activate you and to break those barriers that have just been holding you back, you know, because if there's any reason we're not living our best life yet, it's because the God of this world has blinded us and given us thoughts and used all these influences and energies to make us think thoughts that we've thought of our own all along. 
but really they're coming from a place where if we knew where they were coming from we'd completely disown it so source really wants me to share this with you so just take a moment to tune in and really get into your heart space and really tap in to what source is trying to let you know that you're here to do So step out. Be who you're here to be. Know who you're here to be. That talent is in you and it's in you to shine. It's not in you to hide under a bushel and hide away and keep safe until the day you die because that will be no value whatsoever. Not just for you, but for everybody. So shine, shine, shine. Arokasha, arokasha. Bishana mahandar veshinde. Arakana mahanda. Orasana mahandar veshinde. Bekinder ve. Arasana mahanda. Arasandar mahanda. Horosanama andar ve shinder ve kinde arathanama 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 so ola shanar ve kinder ve shinder ve kinde arakandar ve shinder ve kinder ve kisho arasanama ha arasanama ha arasanama handar ve hinde orasanama handar ve heche orasanar ve handar ve shete orasanar ve handar ve shete Oh, 
Oro sana mahanda de veshende, arakana mananda, arakana mananda, arakana mananda, roso na mahashte, arashta na mahashte, arashta na mahashte, oro kono, oro kono, oro kono hashte, marata, marata, marata soko, marata sukono na mahanda de veshende, Oro sono mahanda de beshende de bekanda de beshende arata oroto arata na mashende de bekanda de beshende aroto na mashende aroto na mashende vikara sonda de behende de beshini arata 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 na makondo veshta de bakondo veshta de bakondo veshta de bakondo de beshende de bekara osha na mahanda O Shanama He, O Rasanama, Arasanama, Arasanama, Handa de Beshende de Beshede de Aratanama, Shanda de Bakanda de Vashota de Basha, Arata, 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 Loka de Shene Bete, Loka de Shene Bete, O Rasanama, Handa de Beshende, Aratanama Shende de Kundar Beshete. Ah, Shene Mehende. Ha shana mehende, ha shana mehende, ha 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 rasana maha, arotona masha, arotona masha, vikara sana mahoto, vikara sana mahoto, vikara sana mahoto, beshende be kende be shaya, ala kanda boko shana mahanda, aratana maha, aratana maha, aratana maha. Who? So that's what Source wanted to say. And really all that was was just an energetic activation to get you to step up into your talents. We all have our own talents. We all have our own paths that we have in order to fulfill who we're here to be so that we can influence others in these ways that, you know, they can start to see who they're also here to be. But the more of us that are doing that, the more that the world will be doing that rather than, you know, not doing that. And we're just going to step up. We're taking this realm back for source. We're taking it back in the name of light and love and life because that divine life is flowing through all of us. And as we flow it out into the world, it's, you know, like the waters cover the sea. It just expands and the waters cover the sea. That phrase isn't the waters cover the world or the seas cover the world. It's the waters cover the sea. When you look at the sea, all you see is water. That's what we're tapping into. That's what we're moving up into. And that's what we're here to be. We're here to be that divine source. We're here to be 100% divine source manifested into this world where you can't see anything else. But the deeper down you go, you just discover worlds upon worlds upon worlds. You know, the shallow waters have a bunch of life in them. But the deeper you go, you come across completely different life. Then you go even deeper and it's even different. And then you go all the way to the depths and you discover creatures that you never thought even existed. You know, not just like the angler fish, but you discover these worms that live in the thermal ducts of the earth where this absolute heat is being released and scientists before they discovered these life forms thought that no life could exist in this kind of heat. Apparently these kind of worms do. So just realize that man, the horizon is limitless and it's not even the skies that's the limit because after you break through the sky, you know, eventually you lose that blue color and I'm not going to speculate on what's up there whether it's, you know, just outer space or a glass shield, whatever it is, you know, there's still a limit to the blue sky. There is no limit to source. There is no limit to what source wants for you. And there's no one that has actually exceeded or even realized the fullness of what source wanted for them. So maybe you could be the first but let's just keep tapping in, allowing this energy to flow and really see where it gets us because 
anything short of that, we're just robbing ourselves of our own inheritance. Have you ever wondered what it would be like if there was no sun? Or what if there was no moon? What if there was no light left in the world at all? No one could see. Everyone would be lost. Nobody could find their way. Help, I can't see. I'm afraid of the dark. Who turned out the light? I'm lost. God is light. If you know him, then let his light that is inside you shine. You may wonder what difference one little light can make. But remember, even the tiniest little light is stronger than all the darkness. So, shine. Because as long as there is light left shining, people will see it and find their way back to God. Hey guys, so I'm just closing up here, shooting from the guest room once again because this is where I'm chilling out while, you know, there's renovations in the rest of the house. But, you know, just tap in. Be who you're here to be, guys. Nothing else is going to cut it. Nothing else is going to cut it. And really, that's why we're here in the first place, to develop our talents, to develop our characters, so that we can take that into the next dimension. Source has got our back. Just ask Source, you know, to really step up as the master of your life, to govern your life from in here. And from there, you can actually change your life from the inside out. Source will change your life from the inside out in ways that you couldn't even dream possible. So, tap in, guys. This is the best time to be alive. Literally, we're seeing changes like we've never seen before. And now we're moving forward into a new way of doing things. As we step up into doing things in this new way, we create those ripples for everybody else to see. So I'll check you guys in the next video. I got to go. A whole lot's going on. And we are literally changing this world from the inside out. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. I really do. Agape. Salam. Namaste. Shalom. <laughs>
that gives rise to existence, that gives life, yeah, that gives rise to, that gives rise.